Hello there, and welcome back to uh, Ryuku uh, East part uh, 22, I think. Uh, last time we were messing about, trying to make some plans on attacking Castille and uh, Castille, Savoy, and Portugal, basically, and we're going to keep on doing that. We are more or less getting our troops ready, we are uh, sending our ship down here, and once it actually gets to. Uh, once it actually gets to where it's supposed to go, we'll probably declare war. There we go, our ships are in place, and as far as I can see, they don't have anything down here. So we'll go ahead and declare clone and there's more on them. There we go, Castile. And Savoy. It might be a little bit bad to claim more them like this, but, uh, well, I think it should be alright. And hopefully, we won't lose too much. I think that Portugal has yeah, Cape Verde as well. So it's a little annoying that this actually doesn't count as a colony that I can take. So yeah, but uh, we'll also be attacking uh, Britain soon enough. So it will be interesting to see how this turns out. But I have, uh, <laughs> I'm most confident that we can pull it off without too many losses or without too much trouble. Seeing as in most cases we have uh, more or less been able to do so. Let's see here. Uh, to go. As you can see right now, I'm just sending all my troops into their uh, territories. I'm just trying to snatch it. Just snatch it, basically, as I said. So, uh, interesting to see. I believe I call this on. Yeah. So, we'll probably act on that sooner or later. Unfortunately, we can't leave, really send colonies down here, I think. So,. Uh, have to see how we'll sort that out, but once we have the Falklands over here, we should be pretty, pretty well decently set to uh, make an impact on everything else. Also, Castile has some rebels, it seems. But they should have the troops to deal with it. They have high uh, war exhaustion dose. So this will be uh, this will be fun. Without anything further ado, we'll just uh, begin the war, see, uh, see what happens. Naval Technology 19 has been reached, and the only one who actually joined in in this war so far is uh, Byzantium. Which is, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a surprise that she's still, still hanging around, but uh, good nonetheless. It means that uh, means they actually survived, which I haven't really, really noticed. Let's see here. Yeah, it actually survived down. No, that's Naples. Where the hell is the Bystone Finds? Oh, they actually survived on uh, this little island here. So yeah, they're, they're not an issue at all, we uh, should be able to do so. The only problem I really can see is once we actually get to here and start to fight Bohemia and Austria, since they are long, snaky bastards, it will be uh, take a while simply to uh, to see us to fight. Uh, probably War Exhaustion will be a bitch, but uh, we should be able to pull it off without too much trouble. But as I said, we'll continue fighting down here now. See how it turns out, and uh, let's try to win. We have seen seized, uh, the Falklands, I believe it's called, on uh, the west from here. And as you can see right now, I'm simply seizing some more colonies, which uh, basically allows us to have no attrition. Uh, I don't think I can take these ones, as I said, but once I actually declare war on, uh, on England to take uh, this one, this one, and this one, I think we should be able to, uh, to fight for them. But as I said, I don't know right now. There are some pirates on my shore, so I should probably get, as I said, pirate uh, support over here. Stuff like that. Won the war for or siege of Basafi here, but it's only worth 5% uh, war score, which is surprising since I can't really see Portugal having any more than three provinces. So yeah, that sucks, but uh, I should probably have landed troops in uh, in Portugal, declare war on. Uh, Castile, move it on to Castile, cancel my, uh, cancel my military access, and then move it on Portugal itself to simply force them to uh, agree to my terms. But, well, coming up with good plans after I've already started the war is kind of what I do, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Natives rising in this one, see the colony. And we are just making good progress right now. This is surprise though, Denmark has actually a colony down here. And, well, other than that, not really that much going on, but yeah, we'll 
Director of Building Fine Arts Academy. Currently sieging down here. I don't want to move with these guys since they're standing on colonies. Um, well, I don't really know how well I'll get these islands, but I think I can take most of Africa simply through using of colonialism. But uh, it will take a while, so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Can't use it on Algiers though, so I guess I can use colonialism on everything that borders me that isn't a core of the enemy. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see how this turns out. But as you can see, our troops are. Uh, are pretty damn strong and Savoy has a minus 5 modifier as well so yeah we'll get to see how this turns out and it seems that the Great Britain has actually established a colony over here Maldives I was starting to wonder if Portugal had actually uh, formed a colony over there or something but yeah once we actually start finding more in Great Britain taking down their armies taking down the troops having these two as land, basically land bridges to Britain itself, we uh, should be alright, I'll probably, if uh, my uh, infamy allows me to, I'll probably try to take a uh, province over here, simply to, uh, to establish a foothold for myself in uh, Great Britain, but with, I'll stop talking now, I'll fight this war and uh, we'll see how it turns out. As you can see, production technology 21 has been reached, which just gives an extra percent. We won the battle against uh, Savoyans in... Uh, Pest over here. They're currently retreating into our armies, I think. Or are they running inland? Yeah, they're currently retreating into one of our armies, so uh, that's quite nice. We'll uh, simply move one army to Marrakesh and siege it, and keep the other one in uh, over here. Other than that, there aren't really that much going on. I don't think I can actually make a move on uh, Savoy itself here in Italy, so uh, that sucks, but still. I should probably have. Uh, best buddy to France or something since they cover a lot of land get military access from them basically allow me to uh, take down Europe as I desire now that I'm thinking of it I think I'll uh, go ahead and try at least if I can best buddy France possibly even ally them uh, I will have basically the stomping grounds I need to take all of Europe without uh, too much trouble so I won't need a fleet then I can just march everywhere take everything and once I have I can slowly but surely kick uh, kick the asses of anyone who has a fleet since sooner or later they won't be able to uh, to pay the maintenance for it basically and that's what I'm currently planning another colony for us so yeah we are uh, expanding and it doesn't cost us that much now so hopefully we'll allow Castile and uh, Great Britain to uh, I just got colonialism and religious liberation on on uh, and yeah, it is rising Well, uh, as I said, I just got colonialism on Denmark, so it's quite interesting, quite tempting to pull it up right now. Well, nice enough to actually, uh, yeah, I can actually use religious liberation as well. They actually took Aoife from Benin, which is kind of good since it will give me uh, a reason to fight them. And I think I, I don't know, is this still a, yeah, I can actually take them both without any problems. And Bohemia. None of these are actually any trouble for me, so we'll go ahead, declare war, and move a, uh, move a gang down there. As you can see, the only one that's actually been in battle with so far is uh, the Savoyans. So that's kind of interesting that Castile also still has rebel issues here. They have been fighting the Mamlux and have made a few cities down, so they probably have a lot of troops here and stretched in. But uh, still, they don't have that much land and. Yeah, well, I don't have that much land either, but I also have most of my troops in Africa, I think. Let's see here. Oh, it's 5, 15, 31. Did that to 16k. So, yeah, as you can see, most of my troops are actually over here, overseas in, uh, in the new lands. So, they probably have most of their troops in the Mamluckan lands, and they probably don't have uh, access from Algiers. I can move with someone else. No, only me. So, they should actually be able to move the troops around pretty damn decently so it's a bit of a surprise but yeah we'll have to see how this turns out just uh, Milan join in one siege for Ivory Coast you guys can go back to Gold Coast simply to avoid attrition <coughs> and well we'll uh, once again see how this work goes once something more interesting happens I'll show you 
basically what I mean interesting is not me crushing this 2,000 man army here or sieging a couple of counties, but if they land a big army and if something unexpected happens, I'll of course, uh, I'll of course tell you. Well, something unexpected did happen. These guys actually uh, beat my army, which is kind of surprising seeing that that army was basically uh, on its knees. So we'll move these guys over, try to kick their asses again, and uh, basically try to make a progress. We'll also be sieging these two uh, <coughs> provinces here that's currently in the possession of uh, Castile. It should boost their war, war attrition a little bit and thus help us. Denmark is actually... Yeah, that's actually a bitch. Denmark actually has troops here, over here. Wow. Are there any more to here that's just colonies? Nope. Yeah, well... So yeah, we'll be moving our troops to take down them. Danish. And yeah. These two we can just siege or take pass. So once the Denmark actually loses these guys, we uh, will have them on the ropes over here in Africa. So, all that's a bit of a surprise. I'm not really worried. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll keep on going. Just reached line 23, and with it, we can now build arsenals and charge infantry, along with Piranha becoming a core. Uh, there has been a slight hiccup here, uh, I didn't really count on Castilians actually landing troops over here, which they have, 12k men against my 4, so uh, these guys will probably be eradicated along with them taking back both of these, but uh, I do have one countermeasure, I have troops over here, Ryuku proper, that I'll try to send over, or ship over, or however, however, but I need to uh, try and get a uh, military axis from all these guys. I actually have one from Omen, which has uh, here, so I'll probably land troops here, do two or three batches and uh, get some more men, drop, drop them off in and get still, and I'll try to take it back without losing too much. Uh, basically Okinawa will be my eastern uh, eastern base of operation as I guess I should see, say. So yeah, as you can see, you see here, my sound just got shit again. And I guess that's when a lot of things happen, this computer can't really handle it well, and thus it shits on the sound, I guess, I think. But yeah, we'll be moving to moving on Denmark now. Let's see here, white piece. Yeah, Naples, nothing I want. You can I'll allow you to leave. Otherwise, I don't really know how Denmark. Nope, I want. Uh, I won't allow you to leave if you give me Aoife. Here we go, sale titles. Uh, I'll actually go for this one. More money for uh, me and mine. Uh, with this, we can once again lower our input to treasury to zero. And well, once we have a little, get a little cash, we'll uh, we'll turn it up again. But as you can see, we're currently doing quite well on the tech department. I think we're still a little bit behind, but uh, we're not that far behind. We're basically on the same level as still. The government are a bit better than everyone's basically and there aren't really that many levels we're behind uh, three naval three trade and three production or one two three so we aren't that far behind as color would suggest we are just uh, if we actually invest in it we'll become uh, technology leader quite quickly but right now we're just investing a little bit in everything and uh, well i think that's good well we should probably do this for now no government tech and uh, simply focus on everything else for a little while but unfortunately, I think this will uh, this will have to be the end of this episode. Uh, things are moving along in a snail pace, simply because I uh, I have a real crap computer, as you know. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, simply have to end it here. So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, little episode on uh, second. Uh, hopefully, the sound has been as low as it was on the first. It was a bit annoying to me, but uh, hopefully, we have sorted out a little issue and. As I said, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, some praise, criticism, anything really, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time.